with stripes january 1st 2017 that's gonna be fun to get used to huh 2017 fortunately we don't write checks anymore <laughs> that was usually the hardest to get going this is coffee with stripes here's stripes the dalmatian my name is mike i'm joe and we're coming in at you very first episode of the year did you have a good time on New Year's Eve? I did. I uh, got plenty of sleep, and I have a very warm blanket, and it was very pleasant. We also got to explore the railroads a little bit. Yeah, we learned that uh, the railroad that goes from in front of this place to another building does, in fact, just lead directly from one to the other. There's a straight line if you're willing to take it. So if you walk along that path you will get straight from one building to the next just as we presumed would happen <laughs> <laughs> and we saw a pretty neat show underneath the bridge all mad max style yeah that was some mad max terrorism gangster shit dude it was like under that bridge it was just gangster as hell and nobody was saying anything i was waiting for someone to start shooting guns in the there air and throwing molotov cocktails well everybody's pretty civilized i mean the party itself was a lot more uh that the attitude of the party was a lot more aggressive than the actual party itself. Yeah. I uh, also appreciate you dumping out that flavored vodka oh. I wound up with last Anytime night. Anytime I have to swing in and be a bro man and save my brother from drinking a freaking giant bottle of black cherry. Mike, yeah. Mike was, all that was left in the garbage studio. panther piss like alcohol. It's It's horrible. <laughs> I'll drink whatever's here, <laughs> more or less. That's that's. If it's truth. a bottle of ginger <laughs> ale, we'll do that too. I'm not that really that picky. <laughs> so, Mariah Carey. Oh, dude! All right, let's talk about Mariah Carey and her performance last night. Let's just break it down piece by piece into everything that needs to be addressed. We All assume right. you saw this, but she was I'm live. Sure, I'm sure Times everybody Square. saw. She was live from Times Square millions of people watching it and me and mike both noticed right away and i think uh everybody came to realize what was happening really quick but uh yeah she looked really hot dude i would say that she looked amazing and there's probably nothing that would change about that no yeah, the whole performance i was just like damn right i almost turned the volume on well, I think that kind of <laughs> probably would have ruined it because we were hearing some pretty, uh, ended up being kind of lousy techno music last night. Did you notice that? Or did you, know, you have an opinion on that? My opinion on electric dance music is that usually there's a reason why the people that go to that stuff all the time are on a shitload of drugs. And that's, there's a reason why, and it's because most techno music is just like... <laughs> 
So it was yeah. good for a while. I mean, I liked it, but once two o'clock, three o'clock in the three morning came around, it seemed to get turned up and, those and people get faster. Don't, they don't, they don't chill the fuck out. <laughs> they never. There is no like. There's no normal arc. There's no normal arc to their show. It isn't like that. Oh yeah, and this is the this is us coming in our low energy intro, and this is this is the middle. It's time to get the dances out, and here let's go really crazy, and then one last one for like the. The showstopper. They kind of don't do that. They do like a 10-hour set, and they just keep ramping it up, and then they hand it off to another guy that does an equally long set who ramps it up even further. It's and crazy. I can hear two distinct beats at two different tempos. Uh, <laughs> and I was listening to that. And some I was of like, the mixes were are not so... Lining up. The mixes were bad. The it's bass like You could, you could say drums. it's polyrhythmic if it randomly uh, lines up every two and a half minutes, but that's not really yeah, polyrhythmic. You, you know that's what? just wrong. <laughs> no, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of dudes with a bunch of haircuts talking about like, uh, look what I can do with my scenester powers and all their weak scene buddies are backing them up and saying, Yeah, bro, your shit's cool even though people with ears disagree. And even though we just said that, we'd still love for you to come down and show off your skills. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're talking directly to the same people we are addressing right now. Come on down and talk to us about your music. Yeah. <laughs> Stripes is a lot better listener than we are, that's for sure. He yeah. knows more about this stuff. Dude, Stripes, uh, have you seen him act up yet? He's a very good dog. So I think it's time for the future. In the future. In, In the, the future. future. In the future. This is called the future today or tomorrow. I'm going to ask Joe a question that's from the news. And either this is something that's being done today, or they're talking about doing it in the future, but they're working on it. So you ready? You ready, Joe? For ready to go. Today or tomorrow. Have you seen the movie Avatar? You know what? I've, I have seen the movie Avatar, and I put it off for a long time, and finally I was like, all right, I got it. It was just like Titanic. I was like, oh, everybody on Earth has seen this. I guess I'll watch this pile of crap. And I watched it, and it crapped into my eyeballs. <laughs> and yes, I have seen Avatar, though, to answer your question. So the reason I brought it up is there's the, the exoskeleton, the mech robot oh. kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that, that's not, uh, that's Another not an... Another super in- original idea from Avatar <laughs> the movie. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, that's not an invention yeah. of Avatar. Uh, that's, that's been that's, mech warrior. That's, that's, that's been part of us being There's a little, geeky there's little, a little kids island for called a long Japan time. that's kind of come up with a couple of things. Okay, so the question today is... Is this happening today, or are they talking about it happening in the near tomorrow? Okay. A 13-foot exoskeleton mech warrior avatar walking around with a person in it. Is that today or tomorrow? I have no doubts that that's happening today. You're right. He's right. Look at this. We got a uh, 13-foot mech warrior walking around in Japan, no less. You called it. You called it. In Japan. All right. So, tell them what you won, Stripes. Another lucky winner on Coffee (laughs) with Stripes. Woohoo! Now, remember, you can write in. You can be part of the show. We're eventually going to be tweeting all this as it happens, and you'll get a chance to win prizes at home, too, as long as Stripes picks a good one. Stripes is just full of prizes. What all has he got down there? All right. Now, remember, we want you to write in to ask Stripes questions. We also want you to write in to be part of the show. And today, our guest is Joe Stuff. Everyone give a round of applause for Joe. Come on in here. Take a seat. Take a seat. Come on in. All right, Joe. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on, Mike. Yeah. So, you're not originally from Seattle, are you? No, I'm not. I'm uh, I'm from the desert. I'm a uh, I'm a Fremen from the planet of Arrakis. <laughs> I was I was going to ask what a Fremen is, thinking it was a, a Fre- We're like an indigenous uh, sand people. Uh, we ride worms and we consume uh, the spice melange in great qu- quantities. You walk single file. We walk without rhythm. That shit's even harder. How do you walk without rhythm? 
Well, you, you, if if you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm, right? So you got to just kind of, oh. you know. So they're like s- seismic? Yeah. Oh, totally. Seismic based. Oh, and if yeah. they detect any type of movement, they every bit of life and moisture on that planet is prey to them. So, you know, they're going to come and get you. The planet of Arrakis. Uh, Arrakis. Am I saying that correctly? Arrakis. Arrakis. A ruckus? A ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm from I'm from a different place. I am not from the fictional planet of Arrakis. I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, could have fooled some of our listeners. We do have a uh, a name for this hairstyle. <laughs> You're gonna see it a lot. It's the Joe Hawk. Yep. And we expect that this show is going to be maybe as popular as the Joe Hawk itself. That's what we're thinking. I'm trying to see if I can just get one or two people to also have this bad haircut. And then I'll know that my experiment has been a success. So when was the first time you did the Joe Hawk? You know, it was uh, it was about a year ago. A good friend of mine uh, came over and I said... Uh, at the time, I I didn't really. I, this is how I got to know this person. But I was like, "Why don't you just give me a mohawk?" And then it happened. And then it, for, since then, I've just been making random people give me mohawks. So you've had a a Joe Hawk for about a year. Yes. But you've been playing bass for how long? I've been playing bass since I was uh, fifteen. So what kind of hairstyle were you rocking back then? I used to have long, flowing, gorgeous, curly hair. <laughs> curly like, hair. It, yes, my hair is. My hair would make all every everybody would be very jealous of my hair. Oh, I love your curls. Oh, and I looked like a little British schoolgirl. I was adorable. My <laughs> hair. It was. I would. I would brush it and condition it daily, and it smelled of roses. I mean, it was. It was so beautiful. But yeah, I'm I'm I, I, one day I just got tired of it and I took a pair of hair clippers and I clipped my whole head. Mm-hmm. I cut off a good three foot mane that I had been sporting for my, you know, uh, pubescence. Do you think that had an effect on your bass playing? Yes, it made me much better at the bass because I got to spend much less time washing and conditioning my hair. And I got to spend a lot more time just playing the damn bass. And after about, uh, the bass is a weird one. Because you get, I, at least I did. Everybody learns on a different curve. But I really sucked for about, uh, I want to say about 17 years. And then I got good like pretty much about three months ago. That's an amazing story. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to track the progress of Joe's stuff, remember... Write in and ask him questions. You're still going to write into Stripes at coffeewithstripes.com, but you can just say, attention, Joe, I would prefer to ask him this question. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to single me out and just seek specifically my advice, because, I mean, uh, if you were asking about, like, how to play the bass, I'm just going to tell you right now the answer would probably be Jocko Pastorius. So just let's clear those questions up right now. Just before whatever you're going to ask about the bass is, the answer is, what did Jocko do? I think this would be a good reason for us to have a bass and a guitar just kind of in the mixer and right here. We could do a little hot licks, the lick of the day. Maybe that. Yeah. One more time. I feel like we're already close enough to being Wayne's World that if we do cross that line, we will, in fact, just, like, one of us will get glasses, and we'll just fucking turn into Wayne's World, dude. Sha, and monkeys might fly out of my butt. As <laughs> if. <laughs> no, I think uh, the one comment we already got on uh, Facebook already is, oh, you got your own little Wayne's World going. It's like, yes. No, I think a great segment would be the uh, lick of the day, and we'll, we'll, we'll spin the wheel. Mm. Will it be a bass lick or a guitar lick? Yeah. If it's okay. a bass lick, then Joe plays the bass. You know what? I'm in favor of that. You can look forward to that in episode two. Well, I think we're off to a good start. Yes. As far as the whole year goes, this is actually the end of this episode. You know, we can always make more. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to have more guests. and uh, We need more good. guests. Yes. We need you. Stripes wants you. 
Well, if we did that at the same time, come stripes, to stripes. Want, <laughs> come, come to, to stripes. stripes. Wayne's World and Beavis and Butthead all in one place. This has been Coffee with Stripes. We have a theme song. Joe composed it. It goes a little something like this. Coffee with Stripes. Coffee with Stripes. Thank you.